advanced version of the loco, so it will be uh, not much hard because it doesn't work. <laughs> We're getting day old mail already, Crash. Alright, we're starting up now. <clears throat> uh, where is it? Korea. It's not in Korea, it's in Wales. <laughs> Coles to Wales part one. But it says you already have 903. Let's see if it actually works this time. Sorry? It says you have 903 points. Good morning, driver. This morning's task is to pay 5658 to the factories <laughs> of Pontypridd and collect the empty coal wagons, which will then take to Marty Colliery. It's dark and wet this morning, so we light the lamps and drive forwards to get onto the main line. HQ. Are we going backwards, are we? Apparently it always says um, that. Okay, I'm guessing I need to change something here. Uh, right, where are we going? Um, this is a bad start. We're going forwards. Uh, we need to come forward across here. And then we're going via Ferndale North 2. Okay, and then we're going to go and reverse back to there and head back down the hill. Okay. Let me just check to make sure. Right, we're now in advanced mode. And I need that, I think. That looks more like it. Alright, so we've got to go past the uh, signal here. We're just going up to... Uh, one down north too. Okay, so we've got to go past here. We have permission to proceed. And then we're just going to uh, the waypoint just over there. Basically, we're just waiting for the uh, train to get past that signal. All right. This is a noisy engine. Alright, so now we're just rolling down the hill. The lights are wrong now.
Oh, well, let me change them. Never mind. The lights being wrong is the least of my problems. The boiler pressure is excessive. Right, so we run downhill now. Oh, that's better. Continue cab first to the Fontigueth factory. The gradient is steeply downhill, so you're riding the brake heavily. You will need to switch tracks after Tyler's Town to enter the factory sidings. Twenty limit here. Going to Tyler's Town South. Which is here. And then we couple to these wagons here. Oh, we've stopped. Plenty limit now. This, of course, is level, which is why we suddenly stopped. We have a green signal. As we get ready to head back down the hill, got another uh, drop now, but we are going to get to uh, a bit higher um, speeds. We're going to get 30 miles per hour shortly. Don't need that, we're not using it anymore. Oh, 21. Not in the higher speeds yet. I kind of wish I knew the keyboard commands for some of these functions. So we're speeding back up again now. It's about one and a half miles to get down to Tyler's Town. You off? Yeah. Oh, well, thanks for helping, Cameron. Welcome. We're doing 27.
There's Tyler's Town South. We're going through Tyler's Town. Right, I'm just moving the, the chat around so I can see it, because at the moment I, I can't see it. What route is this? The, uh, Nick, this is the Mardi branch. Right, so, start to slow down, after the next set of points, stop and go forwards the other line, then stop again, reverse into Pontypridd factory signing, where the first set of empty wagons should be coupled to the back of the loco, you may need to wait at the ground shunt for another train to pass. Rather overhilled the boiler. That was a mistake. And I shall no doubt pay for that in a minute. So this is the point where I guess we're crossing over. Yes, there was a cat wandering around. He's allowed to do that. Right, so... We were waiting. So we've got a... Uh, apparently a train going. But we've been given the all clear. coming that way? No, in that case. Tab, we've been approved. Controlled by the instructions.
Right. Get across this junction, then we come back to get the uh, wagons, and then we're on the, the long uphill struggle. Is where it really gets interesting. Right, so we're now cleared back into this siding. Oops, we're going backwards. Put the cut off in the right direction. Cheers, Strat Shadow. Thanks for uh, joining us this evening, this afternoon. It's tough to get this one in advance mode down the hill because the brakes aren't immediately accessible on the HUD. <laughs> I've realised the brakes are on a little bit. It. Our, over, uh, our priming is finished. Alright, so we're going to buffer up to these wagons. Right, now we've got to go and get the other wagons next to us. Oh, that noise. I'm so glad it's gone. Right, let's get these uh, this released. Is that Moggy43 sitting next to me? No, that's Tiggy, I think. Close, but no cigar. So once we've got the uh, last wagon past the point, we can reverse and get this uh, other um, break of wagons over here. Right. So we are approved back into the yard. Let's get the uh, brake released. If I go the right way, it would help. That's up.
Uh, Steve has gone home, uh, Dan needs gaming, and uh, Cameron went upstairs. We left on my lonesome. Steve said, he, in fact, Steve has actually arrived on the chat. I didn't see you arrive there, Steve. We have all the empties and all you need and you need to change your head code lamps. So open up the driver's toolbox and set them to code H. There's a lamp at the top and another at the bottom. Now to take the empties back to Mardi Colliery to open the dampers, turn on the blower, conserve boiler pressure for the steep inclines and keep that fire stoked. A lamp at the top. And a lamp at the bottom. And I think we're all good to go. We've got a lamp on top on the bottom. Uh, let's uh, put the reverse forward, release the brakes. Put a bit of coal on. Damp is open. We've got a green light. Accelerating. Put the cut off too far back for this incline. I'm doing really well here. Right, let's get some speed up. So we're accelerating again. Yeah, safety valve's making all the noise.
get a bit of coal on. One of the challenges with going uphill in the Voco like this is that you have to cut the regulator and clear the steam chest before you can move the reverser. Looks like we've found the right balance now. We've got the reverser set back to where we can accelerate and gain boiler pressure. And then we throw water on as soon as we get to the level section so that we don't hurt. In fact, we're going plus boiler, so let's get water on. Well, we've got a good enough boiler. starting to struggle on the boiler and again now I'm gonna to have to have another go I'll get to 30 and then I'm gonna have a go at changing the red cutoff again in fact 30 is the limit but we're also about to hit a much harder hill so I'm actually gonna leave it where we're at even though we're losing boiler pressure we will be slowing down in a moment I suspect One in eighty five, and we're about to hit, I think, a one in forty. One in seventy. One in 43, but we are now slowing down, so I played the gamble a bit too far on that. Cut the power up a couple of notches and go. No. That's not doing too bad, but we're losing boiler pressure again. That looks like the top, though. Or at least where it levels out for a little bit. We're actually coming into a 20 just at the top of here anyway, so that's good. Tornado Ben, how do you bring up the stats? Uh, if you press F3, uh, normally you get that screen. If you press F5 twice, you can get up the, um, the, uh, the debug stats in the top left. Right, we're, so we're, uh, but we're in a 20, so I can't accelerate too much. But So this is a good time to get water in and coal. We're still going on a 1 in 90 hill, so we need some power. Fifteen as we hit Ferndale. I'm just going to speed it because we're about to lose a truckload of uh, speed. Uh, 
There you go. So we're managing the 15 now. We've got boiler water going in, boiler pressure going up, and coal going in. gets to a bit of a level bit here where it all runs away. <laughs> Safeties are going off. We'll get 25 in a minute. I'm going to try and accelerate up there. What's the second camera for? Well, there were other people look, uh, that were on here earlier on. As you approach Marley Station on the single line, be on the lookout for the signal. If it's showing red, slow down, ready to stop. If it doesn't clear green, you'll need to ask for permission. Yeah, so there were, there were more people on the stream earlier on, and uh, they've all gone away now, so it's just me. Coal's way, and more than enough coal in there now. One in 40. I think I'm going to be late but because of that bad start, but hopefully uh, not minus 81,000 points. I actually, um, I ran this scenario another time afterwards offline and I got 903 is my best score on this one. So I got a gold medal on it. So we're struggling up this 1 in 40. That's only a 20 limit, so uh, we're not going to get too much out of it. Oil the pressure's doing okay. Speed is now dropping. We're on a 1 in 34. We're on the tough bit. Typical, that's where I choose to take a screenshot. Should have dropped a gear before we got onto the one in thirty. We're on the one in forty now. Speed is coming back up. Boiler pressure is going up. Let's top in some coal. One in fifty nine. Tempted to throw more water in then. He's back on the power since we're coming up to the twenty. I'm using the HUD by the way for this. I'm actually running it in advanced mode, so 
It's just that it's set up so that you can use these controls still. Alright, this was the signal that they talked about in rumours and songs of days past. Alright, where are we? I need to make sure we've got the right route set up here. Which we don't. Now we're set up for it. Where is siding 3? We need to be on the right hand side, so we'll stay on the right hand side. How's our speed doing here? Too much. Okay, so I need to come in that one, I think I need to come in that one, and then that one. Is it line three? Looks like it is, yeah. Okay! Let's just keep it going, keep the boiler pressure going, make sure the coals are at a good level. We've got our last steep climb to do now. Check your route into siding three. I lost way too many points on overspeeding, so I'm not going to get the uh, the medal I deserve for this one. We're approved to go for out of the yards. We're on a 1 in 62, so we're on the way up, but it gets steeper yet. This is the steepest bit of the line. One in 31. One in 29. Back on one in thirty two. Trying to weigh up how much speed I'll lose if I try and drop it down a notch, and I'm no there's no need, we're gonna be up the top in a minute. One in thirty nine. That's better. We're speeding back up again. We've got a bear in mind a 15 limit in front of us. Why is it denying me access? Oh, okay, here we go. Coming in now. Oh, 
that's not quite the uh, the 35 minutes late that we were the first time I ran the scenario. It's just leveled off as well. I just need to be a little bit careful of the uh, speed as we come in. Let's keep it going though. Get in the siding as quickly as we can. Jim in at 12.16. About one minute left. Stop the train. In early. Oh yes, 30 seconds early. That's better than 30 minutes late. <laughs> Superb. Bonus 500. See, I got a lot of overspeeding points at the beginning, so uh, that's uh, not helped matters at all. Lots of overspeeding. Lots of overspeeding. Well, we've got four marks for the run up the hill, and that was the important bit. There you go, look, see? Matt pedals the 903. That's what I call a win. What's the global? See, I'm number four in the global leaderboard for that scenario. Can't complain at that. Or, or I don't know what the difference is between global and top then. <laughs> I don't know. Hello, kitty cat. Say hello to Moggy. This is now Moggy Cam. Um, right, folks, it is... What time is it? <clears throat> Eight, no, 6.17. Right, I think I need to go and make some dinner for family. Um... So that's going to have to be enough for uh, today. I may stream later on today. I doubt it. I might play some other games. We'll see. Uh, if I do stream later on, I'll let you know. Um, otherwise than that, Minecraft stream down the mine shaft tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow at some point. I don't know when. Um, I'll post notes on Twitter and Facebook for Train Sim Live and just let you know when that will be. Um, otherwise than that, if you haven't already, go and hit follow on down the mine shaft, and then you can uh, you'll get notified anyway. Right, um, that's it for me, uh, and I'll see you possibly tomorrow. We might do some trains tomorrow. We'll see how time goes. Failing that, Monday, uh, Monday is the uh, is definitely will be back. Right. Well, thanks to everybody, and thanks to Steve uh, for coming over and doing some uh, some driving here today, at most expertly, and also to Cameron for uh, showing us how it's done as well. So uh, thanks very much, everybody, and thanks to you as well. I will see you uh, on the next time we stream. Cheers. Bye-bye.